Okay, so I've been meaning to do this for a while. This is a video on my mid-2010 MacBook. Um, now, I've had this since 2014. I bought it for £266 uh, and it was refurbished. You can see, uh, since I've had it, it's got cracks uh, on the display. This was a known problem with these. It didn't have it when I got it, but I, I've just noticed it today, actually. Um, the, the logo lights up, which they don't on Macs now. Uh, we've got a MagSafe, which, is, which I think all... Mac should have Ethernet port, Display port, uh, which you, I use an HDMI adapter with, two USBs, headphone socket, and a Kensington lock. Now, if I spin it upside down, you'll see that it looks pretty rough. Uh, it's got this rubber surface though, so it's really nice to use on on any surface. Um, and uh, these bits are, are kind of bubbling up, um, but still work fine. I've taken it apart a few times to to fit more RAM. So it came with 2 gig of RAM, which was way too slow. It's now got 8 gig of RAM, uh, so it's much quicker. And also it has uh, an SSD, a 256 SSD in it. So like all Macs, you can use one finger to open it up. That hasn't changed. Uh, as you can see, the display looks fine. The keyboard shows a bit of sign of wear. I've tried to clean it. Uh, it always looks like an off-white. Um, but that doesn't bother me really. Um, and one of the best features, and why I chose this MacBook as the, uh, it's pretty much the oldest MacBook that will run uh, the latest version of software. So it's it's just had a software update today, so it is currently up to date. Um, but it's one of these glass multi-touch trackpads. Anyway, so let's put it put this on a tripod, and I'll start it up. Okay, so this is my mid-2010 MacBook. Uh, I'm just going to start it up to show how quick it starts up because it's got an SSD. Um, plug in the MagSafe. It's not plugged in. Uh, I'm going to use it on, on battery power, but that is one of the great features. The MagSafe is, is really nice. Um, so it, it actually starts up really quite quick uh, since I put my SSD drive in it, uh, which was definitely worthwhile. I think I paid about £70 for a 256 SSD, but I've had it a couple of years now. Um, and this MacBook I've had since 2014. Uh, so let's just sign in. And just compare this to the computer you own, really, uh, and how old your computer is, how fast it starts up. Uh, as you can see, it, it starts up really quite quickly for an old computer. Um, I don't think people using this would think that it was eight years old. Uh, and I think these used to retail for about a thousand pound when they first came out, um, but then they were used for the education market. And I think they really went quite cheap. And it, I think Apple should do something more like this again. So not worry about the size of the computer, um, you know, make make a more traditional looking computer, but do it as a, as a sort of more budget offering because I would certainly buy it. Um, you know, if they could get it down to about 700 pound uh, and have quite decent specs on it, I, I, would, I would like to go for something like that. So here's my YouTube channel. Let's just start playing a video. What have we got on here? Uh, let's just go with that. Just to show how quick it, it launches and plays a video. So the resolution of this screen is, I think, 768. Uh, and this video is playing at 720 at the moment. Uh, and you can see that it's smooth. If you start to raise the resolution, uh, which is no point for this display, but if you did start to raise the resolution, then, then the image would become a bit stuttery. Um, so let's open up some uh, more tabs. So let's go for Bing search. Let's go for iPlayer. Uh, Art UK deals. And let's go for just BBC News or BBC Sport. Let's do that. Right, so five tabs open now. So we've got my YouTube channel, we've got a Bing search, and let's do a search. Show videos, show images. Let's go to iPlayer. Here we go, and let's pick a program and start playing it. angry uh, hot UK deals so let's flick through that and just pick something random there we go 
and we can flick through. So the mouse pad still works really nicely, really smoothly. And if I want to zoom into an image uh, or zoom out, I can pinch to zoom. And still, in my mind, works better than Windows computers today for, for that particular bit. It's uh, uh, trackpads, and this was the first glass trackpad in a MacBook. This is also the oldest MacBook that runs on the latest version of the operating system. So I'm currently running on uh, Mac OS High Sierra 10.13.4. Uh, so it's a mid-2010 MacBook, 13 inch. I think it's 13.3, I'm not sure. Uh, 2.4 gigahertz Intel Core 2 Duo. So an old processor, 8 gig of RAM uh, and a NVIDIA GeForce uh, graphics chip in there, 256 megabytes. It's certainly no gaming computer. Uh, it ran Minecraft all right, but uh, but most of the other games on the Mac store uh, weren't good. And, and a Mac isn't particularly good for gaming. I did used to run Windows 10 on it. Um, when I had the old physical drive, I used to dual boot. And actually, Windows 10 ran on it very well. Um, but uh, but now I'm back to just running uh, Mac OS because I've got a 256 drive. I did quite a lot of video editing for my YouTube channel and I use this computer. Even as old as it is, I still use this computer for all my editing. Occasionally I'll use my phone if it's 4K or a higher resolution. Um, so let's go BBC Sport. Uh, let's find a video and start playing that. There you go. And uh, if I go back to another page, you can still hear the sound playing, but I can tap on the sound icon so that video is still playing, but the sound's not on and off. Uh, so let's close that page down. Let's go back to iPlayer. Uh, oh no, I've done Fake Britain. Uh, go back and play a bit more of one of my videos. And you can see that I can be browsing the no comments that are on this, uh, this page. Uh, and uh, also let's try some more things. So we'll leave, now I, if I was gonna video edit, I wouldn't leave um, anything else open really, um, just because I'd like to give all resources over to the computer. But let's open up iMovie and also iTunes um, and see how we get on. Uh, so, oh, wrong button. So yeah, so here's iMovie. Um, now it will come up with a project, oh, it's I'm midway through a project. Uh, oh no, I've, uh, so I've already uploaded this one. Um, so you can see there's there's lots of uh, you know audio tracks and transitions. I use picture in picture, I use green screen, and generally it works fine as long as you stick to 1080 video at 30 frames a second. If you go higher than that, this Mac struggles with that. Um, so that is a bit of a limitation, and I would rather um, you know get a newer Mac. Uh, but at the moment, I can't see a Mac that I really want. Uh, and I'm I'm a bit reluctant to buy a second hand Mac. I, I want them to make a MacBook like this. So a budget MacBook with the right software, with decent spec on it, but not worried about the size of it. Make it chunky. Uh, I'm not too worried about battery life. I would rather uh, not have the ultra thin keyboard. I like that this keyboard's got a bit more travel. I like having connectivity as well. But uh, yeah, as you can see with this, if I just pick up anywhere in the video, press play, pause it, I can skip back and forth. Let's show a bit here, go back to here, go before the title, there you go. So as you can see, it's moving around all right. This is me unboxing my new mag wheels. Audio sounds fine as well. So let's uh, quit iMovie and go for iTunes. Uh, because I can connect to my HomePod. I think I'm already connected to my home. Yeah, I'm already connected to my HomePod. Um, so this still works with the latest technology. So I want to play a bit of a track. I won't play too much of that. I'll just skip through different tracks. So you can see it's responsive, uh, it's working fine. If I disconnect, uh, I've also got my uh, home pods which I can connect to as well. So let's put the sound back onto the computer itself. There we go. Quit iTunes. Uh, if I go into settings, I don't know if it'll show it on here, um, but I've got AirPods and I use my, Air yeah, I use my AirPods with it as well uh, and they work absolutely fine. Uh, it, it really is uh, amazing that this eight year old computer still runs as 
as nicely as it does. It doesn't feel a chore to be using this computer. Um, uh, it's great that it's running the latest version of the software. I don't run any antivirus on it, um, but I don't really visit any dodgy sites, and I'm you know I'm careful about what I do. But uh, yeah, hope hope this uh, is interesting. Uh, I. I do hope to get a new Mac uh, at some point, but I'm going to wait till I get a thousand subscribers and monetize my channel and then get a bit of revenue coming in there. Uh, and then that will pay for my MacBook. And uh, and for now, I can wait. I use this. Uh, I use a, an iPad Mini 2 for editing my thumbnails uh, for my YouTube videos and uh, and for web browsing this absolutely fine. Um, so hopefully in another two years time, this will be 10 years old and I'll still be using it. Um, Maybe not as my main computer, but I'll do another video sort of showing uh, how relevant it is. But at the moment, if you're looking for a good, reliable computer that works well uh, and someone's used to a Mac operating system, it, it's perfectly usable. It's uh, As with all computers, it's, it's what you use a computer for. Uh, for me, at the moment, it does everything I need it to do. I would rather it did 1080, 60 frames a second video editing in 4K, but you can't have everything uh, and I'm pretty thrifty. Anyway, thanks very much for watching. Please like and subscribe.